The market is playing out exactly as we expected and we had said this week there was two major pullback days as we had said over the weekend on Friday and or Saturday and Sunday excuse me uh, this week and as we're about to go into Apple earnings we saw a pullback day yesterday by which then later in that day Pinterest and other tech stocks reported earnings which then catapulted the news up and again we're seeing Nancy Pelosi keep talking about the market so this is something that we're going to want to keep an eye on as she was also saying that they're still in talks about a stimulus bill, again, lining up some of with the Apple earnings and then other professionals saying that a Trump presidency will likely be better for the stock market as they have a cleaner picture of what corporate earnings and taxes and all of that will be like. So things to pay attention to is definitely the way the supply and demand patterns develop upon Apple earnings, uh, you know, announcements as well as the implications that this will have along with the stimulus package if they end up coinciding and lining up. So again, guys, nothing I say is a buy, sell, or hold recommendation. You can lose all or more of your capital trading investing in the financial markets. This is simply for entertainment purposes only. I do, full disclosure, have a vertical put spread on Apple, again, because it gave me a better break-even price, and it does control my overnight risk along with controlling other tech stocks because again, the tech has been the leading in the market. So because I am bullish this market as a safe haven more so than the economy, I am putting most of my money in the tech sector with a long side bias. So with that being said, I hope this video was helpful, guys, and I'll see you guys next time.